Hey, what's up? This is Joey from Riff Weaver, and I'm here with this week's update for Tales of Fablecraft. I've got a lot of different stuff to cover, and it's all from seemingly all over the place. We're going to talk about a stress test that we'd love your help in performing for Fablecraft. We're going to talk about animated battle maps, and I'll be showing those off uh, today. We're also going to be talking about um, this nice GM tool that's going to make scene changes and battle map changes a bit more seamless and um, help not ruin the immersion for your players when you're running your adventures. Uh, so let's dive into this stress test first. So as you know, the Fablecraft demo is available right now on Steam. We put it out maybe a week and a half ago. Folks have been playing and, and it seems like everyone really digs it. We appreciate that. Uh, there's a tutorial in it and then there's also the first three sessions of the Road to the Starfall Festival available in this demo. So if you haven't downloaded it yet, please give it a shot. Um, please also wishlist us on Steam if you play the demo and you like it. This helps indies like us a ton. It's a great thing and it helps our visibility a lot when we actually do launch on Steam. So with this demo, um, we want to make sure that we can handle as much server load as possible and we'd like to get a bunch of players on at one time to sort of stress test our servers. So we've selected June 2nd at 10.30 a.m. Pacific. We're gonna run like a 30 minute window there uh, where we'd like to get as many people on at once and see what happens, right? If you are able to join us for this stress test, that's awesome, first of all, thank you. But we also wanna reward you for your time. So there's a premium dice skin that we're gonna make f just a free giveaway for anyone who does this with us in this window. It's the Galaxy Dice, which you see on screen now. The model's been updated if you're a Kickstarter backer and you're like, hey, I, I know those dice. Uh, we've actually updated the Galaxy skin and it looks pretty awesome, um, but these will be free and then they'll go back to being a premium item moving forward. It's just like a one-time thing that we're doing just to sort of thank you for taking time out of your schedule in order to join us. Uh, we'll be talking more about this stress test in the next couple days. We'll be putting up a post on Discord and on Steam as well and probably on our social platforms to just sort of remind you that it's coming and to give new players some details about how to get the dice. Uh, these dice, of course, will persist once we move into early access, so don't worry, they're not going to go away once the demo's over. They're tied to your account, and they'll be with you forever. All right, next, let's talk about the animated battle maps. Um, our goal and intention is to have all of the battle maps animated in Fablecraft. Uh, for now, we're kind of working on them piecemeal, right? We're doing them as we can, and we spoke with our senior motion graphics designer, Greg Platt, about this, but... These are the, the four that he sort of selected and said, hey, I, I actually really like these um, and we just want to go over with them now. So there's this docks battle map. This takes place in the Coral Coast and we have a day and night variant. We also have this tavern battle map. We have a summer, uh, winter, and then this ocean one. This is also in the Coral Coast region. And then we have this village battle map. Uh, this is like a village crossroads setting and it takes place in either snowy conditions or not snowy conditions. And then finally we have this mountain impasse. I love this map in particular because it sort of forces players into this choke with whatever monsters or bad guys the GM sets up on the other side of the valley. Or, I don't know, crag? The drop? I don't know. Greg did a wonderful job with this one. It, it makes me want to just like roll a might check and maybe shove someone off into the abyss. I think uh, the abyss looks more appealing than it did when this was just a static battle map. Um, if you're the type of player, by the way, or GM maybe, that doesn't really want these animated maps, maybe they give you motion sickness. That's totally reasonable. You can always turn off the animation just head into the game and and you know anytime you're on a scene that's moving you can just click the menu up at the top and stop the animation and if you're gming and you have a player that's like complaining about that just make sure to point that out to them it's there we get it you know sometimes people don't want to stare at you know boiling oceans for an hour as they play out their session totally makes sense Speaking of GMs, we have a pretty cool feature that we're adding soon. Um, right now, if you want to scene change, let's say that you have this Riverside Hamlet that you want to take your players to, and it, it's at night. All of our scenes and battle maps sort of have this default state. This one in particular defaults to this daytime scene, right? So if you transition into the Riverside Hamlet and you want it to be night, you're going to drop it in, the players are going to see it as daytime, and then you're going to have to switch it over to night and they'll see it change. We don't think that this is a really clean way of doing this, and so we're designing a change. Now when you grab, let's say, the battle map, this rooted battle map, and you want it to be nighttime, you just drop it onto the nighttime box. Uh, huge. This is a pretty awesome change for how scenes are constructed and how you can do point-to-point -point narration in, in Fablecraft. We think it's going to be a nice way to maintain that narrative and maintain that immersion for players. We hope you like it. That's it for this week's update. Uh, thank you so much for hanging out. You can always join us on Discord. We're at 
discord.gg slash fablecraft. Uh, we let you ask questions to devs. You can chat with us, chat with other players, look for a group if you like to find one. Um, if you do play the demo and you have some thoughts or maybe you want to report a bug, uh, we also have the feedback website stood up and in use. We've been crawling through it and players are leaving amazing feedback and spotting, spotting bugs as well. Uh, that's fablecraft.featureupvote.com. And next week, we're going to be previewing the combat arena mode in our demo, which is coming soon. So thank you for hanging out. Until next week, I'm Joey. <laughs>